Friday, so let's get moving. Let's get ready to go somewhere. I don't really have anything planned today other than to run a few errands, you know? So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to Sam's Club right now to get me a 24 pack of sugar-free Red Bull. And then I think we're gonna go to the gym. Even though I'm wearing like Vans and like really short shorts. Like I can't do cardio in Vans. Like I know some people wear Vans to the gym, but like I cannot do cardio in Vans. So I'm just gonna do like an hour of like lifting weights in vans. I don't know why the vans are relevant, but they are. So something really exciting happened today where I live, Pensacola, Florida. We had a major like bridge that everybody uses every day. Go out like eight months ago, it literally fucking broke. Like it snapped in fucking half. Like they wouldn't tell anybody when they were gonna open it, but today they just opened it. So that's really fucking exciting because now I can get to the beach faster, I can get to my boyfriend's house faster, I can do a lot of things faster with that bridge. That bridge was very crucial to a lot of people. I'm really happy that it's working again. I'm trying to like mentally prepare, like what do I need at Sam's Club? Red Bull for sure. I'll probably get toilet paper. Like I know it's for sure cheaper to get Red Bull at Sam's, but is it actually cheaper to get like other shit like toilet paper? Do I want to waste my brain energy on technical analysis to see if that's true or not? Not really. Actually though, for real, like on some adult shit, you should get a fucking Sam's Club membership. If you do it right, you can get a week's worth of food for $25. And you get gas cheaper. I'm just a Sam's stan, okay? But not Uncle Sam, don't get it twisted. Why does it look like I'm like driving like this? I don't want to like fucking be like that. That's not comfortable for me. See, it's like I want to go to the gym, but at the same time I want to order like Texas Roadhouse for dinner. Why can't I just do both? Like, let me get a fucking 12 count of honey rolls, cheese fries, and steak right after the gym. Like, that should be acceptable. Every fiber of my being wants to do that, but I know that that's wrong. I'm like staring at this billboard because it triggers me every time. It's going to show a coffee cup with a roach! Coffee cup with a roach in it! Whoever you are in Pensacola, Florida who put up that fucking billboard, you should be jailed because I'm triggered. There's people out here, I feel like I wanna throw up. Like I'm not exaggerating. I have a major bug phobia, especially for like fucking roaches and every day I have to drive by that fucking billboard and see that giant ass roach in a fucking coffee cup. And it's just not okay. Like why didn't I eat a fucking snack? I don't like eating before I work out because I feel like it's just gonna like make me burp it up when I'm working out. Here, I'll help you out. You're welcome. All right, toilet paper and Red Bull. That's all I need. Don't let me get distracted in here. I feel like a grandma every time I leave the grocery store. I don't know where the fuck I parked. I literally don't know where the fuck I parked. All right, that was not bad at all. I think it was literally in there for like five minutes total. And I have my headphones. I believe them to be charged. Uh, I'm gonna charge them the whole five minute way there in case they are not charged because we're not playing around with that today, baby. Okay, let's see if I can work out for an hour without doing cardio. I like doing cardio. 
it's just easy and like simple i don't know i'm like a shy like little bitch like i don't want anybody to see me like lift weights because i literally don't know what the fuck i'm doing and i feel like people are gonna like make fun of me or be like you're not doing that right because they're they're right i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i literally don't fucking know i'm out of water before the gym and i refuse to drink the water like from their mountain faucet or whatever so i'm literally going to this gas station right now to get a cold water i'll be right back ah, oh my god every time i literally turn off my camera something fucking happens i feel like a bitch like i'm really not trying to be a bitch like if you saw the way this guy like approached me it was scary he, i was opening the door and he was like this fucking close like behind me and then the cold water was like in the corner of the store and he came up this close and he was like will you buy me a drink he's like obviously like a homeless man so i was like yeah sure like i'll buy you a drink and i promise like i'm not being a bitch like i wanted to be nice i wanted to buy him a drink but just like freaking me out like how close he was to me without saying anything at first so it freaked me out but i'm glad i could buy him a drink it's a hot day he wanted a monster that was fine but guys i promise i'm not being a bitch like i bought him a drink like i could have been a bitch and been like get the fuck away from me but i was like no like i'll buy him a drink like, it's hot as fuck but anyways haul time i got a smart water and i use red bull as my workout even though i just bought a 24 pack they're not cold i have to have cold drinks like i can't drink room temperature drinks i i want to start recording in public more like my camera is small but it's not like small enough to like be discreet i just got to the gym and i just i really don't want to go in like i really really don't want to go in but i like drove all the way here Fuck! I just realized like how hungry I am. And I'm about to like work out. Like that sounds fucking miserable. So I'm just gonna try for as long as I can. And I don't have really like any food at home. So when I'm done, I'm going to Chipotle. I don't care if that doesn't make sense or if it does, but that's what I'm fucking doing. Well, it wasn't a complete fail but it wasn't a complete success either. I actually did end up doing cardio for 30 minutes. I cannot do cardio in bands. Um, and here's, let me give you a couple reasons why we're leaving at the 30 minute mark against the original target of an hour. My feet are starting to hurt and then I had to pee because I drank like almost this whole thing and the Red Bull and um, when I went to go pee, a few too many drops got in my shorts and I'm not comfortable continuing to work out with pee in my shorts. So we're going home and I'm gonna take a shower. But it kind of sucks that I'm leaving because like I was starting to get a second wind. Oddly, after I drank the Red Bull in water, like you'd think like I'd feel even like more like shit after the Red Bull, like working out after like barely eating today. If I have like a second wind, like I feel good. I would have kept working out, but the pee is just a bit much for me. I'm debating, should I go to Smoothie King and get a smoothie? Cause like, I'm not gonna be able to get food. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? Oh my God, look at it. Can you see it? It says anarchy. It looks really cool. I think it's a parade float. That's dope. It's got like bat wings and shit on it. There's supposed to be a parade tomorrow. Maybe we'll go to the parade. I think I'm gonna go to Smoothie King because it sounds slap. And also I wanna see if they sell protein powder. Wow, I just admitted to all of you guys that I'm going to another public place with a little bit of pee in my shorts. But it's okay, cause I don't care, bitch. Did I place a curbside pickup order? No. Did I park in the only curbside pickup spot so I could go in and out really fast? Yes, I 
dead. Okay, why the fuck does this person have their hazards on? What the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh my god, are they gonna throw up? No? Okay, I'm freaking out. I don't know why. Okay. She's really like weirding me out. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but I'm backing up so I can go around her. Like, oh fucking K, what the fuck? I wonder if she hit a lady's car. Should I stay for the tea? Damn, what the fuck? I just realized it's only 3.49. 3.49. I feel like it's like fucking seven o'clock or later or like eight. But anyways, I took a shower, got all the pee pee off me and probably scrolled on TikTok for like an hour, I don't know. And I watched this hair tutorial from Brad Mundo. He shows like how to use the Revlon like one step hair dryer blower thing. And I have that and I'm like, I wanna see how he does it cause he's like obviously the fucking best at hair shit. Do I want to do my hair? Like I want to have nice hair because you know when you like blow it out, it'll stay nice for days. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to blow it out or not. I don't know if I have the mental energy to blow out my hair because I have a lot of hair. But if I don't do that, I'm going to go to either Chipotle or Target or both. I feel a billion times better. As you can see, I have not done my hair. I have been laying in my bed, eating Chipotle and watching the Kardashians. And now I feel good and ready to go. So I'm going to get a bubbly bounce from my fridge and then give myself a blowout so I can have nice hair for a couple of days because I almost never do my hair because it's so fucking long and thick and it's just like a lot to like do and take care of. Bubbly time. Okay, I'm on my bedroom floor. I have my styler, some rollers, even though I think these things suck or I just don't know how to use them. Some mousse. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, by the way. The last time I think I used this, it worked out pretty good. Kenra Smoothing Blowout Lotion. Sounds kind of freaky if you ask me. Um, some, something I got in like a Sephora sample thing like five years ago. These cute clips, a water, and the best flavor that I've tried of the Bubbly Bounce blueberry pomegranate they're not like really flavored i guess but it does give you like a little burst and it's like really crisp and that's it it's just like fucking carbonated so my hair is probably 90 percent dry but we'll give it a whirl okay first i gotta brush my hair This is gonna take forever because I have so much hair, so I'm gonna come back when I'm on the top layer, okay? I swear to God, I literally hear somebody screaming. What the fuck? I literally hear somebody screaming. I swear to God, I literally heard somebody screaming and it sounded like fireworks, but it could have been a gunshot. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's not What is that? Totally fucking hearing shit. Okay, that's a firework. If that was a gun, that'd be a really loud gun. So I'm just gonna tell myself that it's a firework and move on. 
Okay, that's definitely a firework. Okay, enough of the tweaking for one moment. Hi guys, I'm back. I did my hair and it came out really disappointing, so I'm not even gonna get up to show you. But other than that, I've just been, you know, like uh, doing like a little course and like a little healing and meditation type shit. And now I'm just like relaxing and winding down for the evening. Today has been a good day. Today has been a good day. I think today I learned that I have a really bad like eating pattern. I just like, I'm not prepared. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.